Hi, I'm Sarah Gutterman, CEO of Green Builder Media, and I'm here with Greg Calderon, Vice President of HP Product. Well, thank you so much for being here today. I'm excited to talk with you about indoor air quality. Uh, I think COVID really brought the concept of healthy home to the forefront of our national dialogue. And people are more focused on healthy homes and indoor air quality than really ever before over the last few years. So can you talk about the importance of IAQ and uh, just some some basic essentials uh, that people should know about indoor air quality? Absolutely, sir. You know, it's, it's interesting that you know, central vacs have always, have always been a clean product. It was always about indoor air quality. But before COVID, it, it, it just didn't seem like it ever took traction. It's like, you know, what you can't see can't hurt you, right? Uh, and everyone's learned through this this you know, tough two years we've had here that, that uh, you know, your, the air you're breathing, you know, and the impact on your health is just is so critical. And inside your house is really the, probably the most polluted space you're in, in terms of being outside versus inside. Um, and so, you know, when you start talking about, uh, you know, vacuuming your home and cleaning your home and, and the pollutants that get kicked up into the air and then you inhale, you know, it, it became very scary for people. When Corona first hit, we were very concerned as everybody was about your business and how people were going to do. In fact, a lot of our, our dealer uh, network, you know, thought they needed to shut down. The reality was people were now home and cleaning their homes more often and the call volume was crazy high because the people i need you to service this system i need this thing working because i you know i need to clean so it really did uh change the, the whole you know focus on on just what I'm, am i breathing and smelling inside my house and is that is that bad for me? tell us about central vax and why they are more effective than other types of vacuums or standalone vacuums you know, this is something that the central vac industry has been trying to teach uh, for years. And it just, uh, again, it's something that didn't get traction. When you vacuum with a central vac, and it doesn't matter what central vac you use, you know, you are sucking air into this hose and that air gets moved away from the room and taken to your central vac unit, which is typically in your garage or maybe in your basement. Uh, the big difference there is you're not recirculating the air and anybody who has you know vacuumed their home when the sun is shining through the windows knows what i'm talking about you get a haze well that haze is all of the dirt that you're kicking up all the dirt that's not quite getting through your filters and you breathe it and you smell it that's that's the thing that most people who use a central vaco i didn't this doesn't smell because you're not kicking that up all that air gets removed from the room and that, that's what makes it healthy. So in a lot of cases, it's vented to the outside. So you're not having to breathe in all the things you're kicking up. Because again, it's almost like having a blower in your house when you do a vacuum, you, know, you just you, you get this haze. So that is the part of it that's, that's unhealthy. And, um, and with the advent of you know, Corona, uh, people are starting to understand that. So central vacs have become very popular. You know, when you talk about, I, I really want to clean my house, without polluting my air. So talk about how you can actually retrofit a home with central vac systems, because obviously, you know, it makes a lot of sense for new construction, but uh, I think that the elephant in the room is addressing our existing housing stock with respect to energy efficiency, indoor air quality, water conservation, et cetera. So how could a homeowner retrofit their home with a central vac? The trick with this is you need a professional to do this. Uh, many people, it's a mystery what's behind the wall, and, and we don't see a lot of people try to do it them on, on their own to go in there and try to, you know, drill holes here and there. There's like a lot of scary things behind the walls. So uh, you need a professional to come in and do it. A, a central vac professional will come in and assess your home, depending on whether you have a basement, crawl spaces. In, in most cases, if you don't live in a castle, you probably can get a central vac. Okay, stone walls are a problem. But uh, most uh, construction, you can find a way to get the tubing run in there. I said a lot, some through the attic, through the basement, through a crawl space uh, to get adequate coverage. And this, these days they have, you know, we have retractable hose uh, products, which means that the hose, not only, you know, you get the indoor air quality, but the hose also sucks back into the wall, into the piping system. And you don't even have to worry about carrying around a hose. It's just, it's basically on-demand vacuum. So you can do spot clean, very quick clean. Uh, you make a mess, you clean it up right now. You don't have to go get the gear 
you know, unwind a cord, plug it in and do all that. So it's, it's also very convenient. So you get both indoor air quality benefits plus the, the convenience uh, at the same time. Now, why HP products? What makes you unique and different? I think uh, as far as in the central vac, you know, we're very focused. Our, we have a, a couple divisions here. We do a, a military, um, some industrial side, but our central vac division, um, which I'm the general manager for, we're very focused. Our people, that's what we do. We do it all the time. We're not doing other things. So we have engineering, the 3D printing, and we, we develop uh, and become the market kind of innovators for some of this retractable product. Uh, so it has, um, you know, it, you know, also allows us to focus on our dealer base. Again, we like these professional uh, entities out there trying to do your install, doing your retros. And so we work very closely with them. It's almost like a family. Uh, and we work very closely with them to, to get this done. So, um, you know, there's others, the other central vac manufacturers that are out there. They're good companies. I know them all. I work with them as well. We're trying to promote the industry. Um, and so they're, they're all good, you know, but uh, what I like about HP is just our, our, our culture and our, our, you know, our focus on, you know, putting out the best products that we can. So I've been here for like 20, 21 years, uh, and it's uh, it's great. It's been it's been fun. Now, as a former venture capitalist, or as I like to say, a recovered venture capitalist, I'm wild for innovation. And you had me at 3D printing. So what do you do with 3D printing? We we basically uh, oh a number of years ago, I took one of our on the, our, our floor people who was assembling product, but he was very uh, MacGyver. You know, and I'm probably dating myself, but um, he was, uh, you know, he, he just made things out of anything. So I, I got him a 3D CAD system and I bought him a 3D printer and he started just doing, you know, little projects. Um, but he, it just, we learned that by having a 3D printer, you can accelerate the speed of a project because you, you make multiple uh, we, we were we were running prototypes and then we the prototype wouldn't even be done and we'd stop the print and start with the next version. In the past, you had to send it out to a third party. It was very expensive, very time consuming. With 3D printing right now, we have three of them. Uh, they're running all the time and we I, my desk is full of little gadgets that um, are 3D printed. Most of this stuff never makes it to the market, but a few of them do. And our chameleon valve, which I actually have one on the desk, which is that retractable hose I told you about, um, this was all developed 3D printed. Um, we put it in people's homes. We tried it out, and uh, and uh, you know we we tested it. So we were able to. It's almost like you can launch the product ahead of time without actually launching it. Test it, make sure everything works, and before we actually spend the money to have the tooling made to make the things for real. So it it was phenomenal. Thank you so much, Greg. Okay, thank you, thank you, Sarah. I'm <laughs> sorry.